welcome back in this video we want to talk about um, where is it like the public folders in office 365 so Microsoft public folder is for sharing and you can have the uh, mailboxes attached to them that you can send I played around with it a little bit um, it's a little bit confusing and even Microsoft wants you to start using the groups rather than the public folder but they are still keeping it for a while um, so let's see how to create them and what you can do with them so where is it is this one yeah all right so let's go to the public folder right here and in public folder I see I actually you know because of the that latency issue that I suspected so I played around a little bit before making the video uh, so in order for you to create a public folder you have to create the folder mailbox first so let's go that and we call it PDF PDM or no let's give it another public folder public slash OFM let's call it this one and just save it I just want to distinguish it bit by the other one so basically you have to have for, for mailbox for setup then you can actually go and you, this is one too, so you can create as many this primary secondary you can see that and the options are mailbox usage it just shows you how much the mailbox has been used so look at that as well same thing ah okay all right so it was new so nobody has logged in we don't even have a assigned user to it so in files you see I already made a folder but if I have to go and I create another one it's gonna ask me the name I can give him actually this one if we click on it and see that it's it's not there okay that's uh, what's in here so this is actually the root if we create another one we can name it public uh, no I'm gonna name it uh, docs for the sake of uh, distinguish so we can distinguish them so docs you see it has does not have a subfolder and it's not mail enabled so we have two things over here once we can enable the mail so now this under this folder we can send out the emails it's enabled now the other one is manage manage is very interesting so you can add or remove user who can access this public folder and edit their permissions all right so that's that uh, you can remove user the thing with the user is you cannot bulk add them so you have to go one by one so I like, like you can put a lead and if you click like this and you can only add a user once at a time so it's not like a bulk feature and that is like everything is uh, so so it's like uh, folders we add users so we let's add Ali save then you go again add browse uh, add Aslan save so you see it's uh, not fun I'm gonna add myself as well and let's save everything so this will take uh, just like two minutes 
I am gonna pause the video because you don't see you have to see it it will just um, like after two minutes it will go all the way to done so let's pause the video here all right so it's done let's close it so you see that folder has been created where is it this like you can make the subfolder so it will show you no no let's go back uh, for the back you can go up so docs does not have a subfolder in it you can go click on it and you see it changes to like this and once you add another folder like uh, um, TX like text or text document so if you put that it will create another folder and you can enable the email for that as well for example if you enable for this email and you again you add the user I'm gonna add Ali let's say Ali so close and for manage so you have to add all those user to the first folder and next style everybody is there so I think these users have access to it automatically because in the options it had an option something like that going okay so let me show you the um, folders uh, text let's go to its properties and in its properties you can see a uh, few different things at the name the path total items how many items in it um, let me actually show you the other one let's go up and see if files have something in it I sent an email so oh, again just click on files and then click on this okay so total items so I sent an email so it's showing up here it's showing e zero megabits it was just like it should be in kilobytes actually or bytes public folder yes it is uh, the mailbox it, it is associated with this one so if I go to the other one I'm not sure um, what that is under maintain per user read and write information for this public folder like who read the and who did not apply to read and write and citing to this folder and all its subfolders the same setting to down the hierarchy so this is pretty straightforward per simple associated items everything like it is associated or not and that is the owner count like how many owner are there one contact count only one because I sent only one email I think that will change user organization quota default uh, use so if it's the default is that the organization set uh, like uh, on the local or you can unclick it and it becomes everything is highlighted and you can select them select one so right now it's unlimited so they are grayed out we're gonna keep it this way use organization retention default so whatever they have in the default setting you have to do the power uh, uh, what is it power shell so you have to run those command commandlets but uh, um, if you uncheck it you can keep the items for five days apply this the settings to this folder and everything that's in that for all the other folders in there so we can keep the defaults again age limit defaults like folder contents how many days these def uh, this is for the deleted like if they are they gets deleted how many days to keep it so somebody can retrieve them or otherwise they are gone forever again this is how many days to keep the folder contents whatever you put in there how many days to keep it like if you send an email with an attachment that's the way like how many days to keep it over there and again apply settings to this folder and everything in there general mail properties display name 
alias and custom attributes and if we click on here we're gonna the, get all the custom attributes to this one email address what is the email address the email address of this mailbox or folder is files at this one uh, we might be able to make another one custom address we can I think through our domain or for the user you see like this so let's go to the member of is it a member of any group like if we could make it to if we had added it to the IT it the group will show up here because IT is the group when we're adding users delivery options how to deliver send as and send on behalf these options we talked about and uh, does it have the uh, anybody to have um, <clears throat> option like can Ali or this user or this 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 who can send uh, an email on behalf of this uh, address that we saw on the from the, this folders uh, address on behalf or they send an email it appears to be from them but it's really sent by Ali or anybody else you set up there on behalf basically they get an idea when they look uh, closely at the email that it was sent on behalf so max message size restriction this is important like uh, you how like for example when you send an email like google they have 25 megabits per uh, megabit file size limit same you can apply it here like you can put nobody should be sending email over 5 megabits 10 15 whatever you set so that email once they upload the uh, attach the file it will give them an error like hey it's too big minimum max or oh, maximum receiving some what the maximum uh, email for example you say okay on a, same thing if it's too big the email will be rejected and sender will get the undelivered able uh, uh, error on their end message delivery restriction accept messages from all senders or only senders in the following list so if somebody gets a hold of that email address they can start sending email if you want you can just make it and add everything all the user so it becomes user only so like who are the all you see this this is the doc document folder mail uh, mail address this is files folder mail address this is the text that we created and that should we did not enable it for uh, media folder require all senders that all sender authenticate and this is when they I think that when they send uh, it will check against the list that if they are authenticated user or they a member something like that reject messages from no senders like or only sender in the following list so this is pretty much it uh, this is the mail settings enable so how user actually get to see this um, Microsoft is not letting you have the public folders or the emails in your um, Outlook web access like uh, you uh, can access your email like at work we click on Outlook it automatically logs in to us to our email and show us everything but that's the Outlook the, if the software you can go to this address as well and check your email like a lot of people are used to not many people use the app but if you see it's not showing up those its favorites inbox you go down here you see the sport group but you don't see the uh, that public folders so Microsoft really wants you to start using the groups and not the uh, public folder they are just keeping around because there was like uh, it's so popular so I, uh, I don't have outlook in this one mm, outlook.com okay so I added the account on my local on so if I click on apps so you see public folders I am signed in as Ali so public folder it shows up here and once you click on it 
says all public folder and I get to see my docs and files this docs I just created and in docs I should see text as well so let's uh, remember the other day when we made uh, we created that calendar video we made these um, entries into our calendar so the cool very cool thing with outlook is that it reminds you and i have to either snooze it or dismiss it i should dismiss it because it's already past december 30th i keep so i like it text and these are all the folders that will show but uh, how about you send an email so you can send an email through not here let's go here let me show you how the uh, like it's not showing up any of here I'm gonna log in with the Ali and show you so one quick thing I wanted to show you if you see uh, folders there it is <coughs> add favorites <coughs> oh it showed up files folder so I think it's running just a little bit behind uh, <coughs> I see the files show up here again it's a latency issue i think microsoft has finally uh, allowed it i think that's the files folder files at yes <clears throat> so i apologize the when i was uh, like pulling my <clears throat> um hairs out it was not showing up but now it seems like it will show up if i see the files here let's log into ali and see are we able to do the same on ali's account i think it's again it's just a latency issue it's running behind i created that uh, files folder uh, let's see the date and time i think it was uh, at least an hour ago <clears throat> if we see it was so it's 836 it was created or modified at 720 and if you see the docs i just created it about like five minutes ago 822 oh 10 minutes ago so yeah it's taking a little bit of time i could pause the video and show you after an hour if the docs folder show up there as well uh let's go to the ali's account and see if we see that folder over there as well and i need to verify something as well if we are seeing the so no there is no favorites so basically for some reason ali when i was doing trial and error and all that favorite was here it was you know just like uh, in here oh, in here the favorites menu was there add favorite favorites it was simply not showing me that uh, folder so so what happened was that um, as soon as I logged him into this docs and I saw him here that option for the uh, favorites completely gone so it's definitely uh, going on on Microsoft hands they are implementing whatever they want to and that's how it's you know um, it is so you just need to know uh, where it shows up how it works and all that so what I did actually was that I did send an email uh, through that uh, address and it showed up in here like let's go back here in files you see that e email I sent in folders files so you know it was that email now Ali oh uh, who's the guy oh so why is it not showing up in here because this account sent that email so if we can go to another account let's bother Aslan so let's go to Aslan Outlook and see if it's uh, showing up in his inbox. Uh, add favorites, trial and error. So you see, it's kind of uh, funny how it's showing up 
in some places and others not so for him that uh, files folder has not shown up yet so it's favorites deleted items and you can see <coughs> sync issue new folder I can create but I don't want to because I want to check that out that uh, files folder I want to show it up here so select all read aloud add favorites but it's not say this one oh is a contact so you see it's a matter of like uh, I think it's a matter of just to wait and watch but you you get an idea it's it has shown up the folder and I am hoping that others will follow suit and will be shown here or maybe it showed up because I made uh, Emron the owner maybe that's why it's shown up so maybe I'm right it's still only in Outlook uh, software thing and not a web app to confirm this what we can do is we can go back documents and we um, make come on up make uh, users member um, where are all the users statistics limits oh it should be under folder permissions All right, so let uh, this time. Who is this guy? This one is just Aslan. Okay, so let's just Aslan. It gotta be this one as the owner. Save it. Save it again. Again, it's gonna take a little bit of time. I'm pausing the video here all right so it's done we close it let's go here and see if it shows up in there or not not yet let's refresh it a little bit or again we might have to give it time uh, again at favorites inbox archive you see it goes a little bit out so yep I'm gonna give So it's not shown up yet. But if it does, then we are 100% that only owner folders will appear. And uh, where they're just member, it will not show up in here in the web. And they have to use the uh, software itself. So let's wait it out. I'm going to pause the video here. I'm going to give it an hour if it shows good. If not, then just to upload the video with the ending all right so it's 10 20 we have given it enough time i am logged into as back in aslan look clicking on the admin it's not giving me anything um i try to search it it's not finding it so it is very safe to assume that my first uh, finding was correct that as of yet uh, Microsoft does not allow the uh, public folders to be accessible through the web thing and you can only access it through your Outlook software all right and one more interesting thing I found that Skype is not there I tried signing into Skype it says your account is not blah 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 not found and it's even not showing up in the list of uh, all the apps uh, let me show you the no, I'm not. let me show you here then the admin center and go to the all the apps like here you should see the full apps so you see in s there is nothing in skype so probably skype is out of uh, the office 365 and yammer is in with team 
so this is for, for it for this video I'm gonna wrap it here uh, if this video helped you please rate like comment and subscribe and you have a good night